Are these the new MCU Avengers? Well, maybe. We got a new scooper report that seems to break down who the core of the new team is going to be. We got five names, but quite honestly guys, I feel like quite a few are missing. Let's break down the new report, who the new Avengers are, and what characters I think are left off the list. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news. But we're bringing it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, it's another day and another Avengers rumor. Now, as many of you know, Avengers 5, which was known as Kang Dynasty, is really not that far out for Marvel Studios. Now, Marvel changed the title to take a little bit of the focus off Kang the Conqueror, but it's still completely unclear if Kang, or more likely one of his variants, will still be a big part of the movie. We do know Loki and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness writer Michael Waldron is overhauling the Avengers script after Jeff Loveness turned in an initial draft. Now, as of right now, we still also don't know who's going to direct the movie. Initially, Destin Daniel Creighton, who directed Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings and is working on Wonder Man, was set up to direct the Avengers, but now we're kind of hearing Marvel is going to go with a director who has never touched the project before. Now, like we were saying, very, very little is known about this movie. But now Scooper, My Time to Shine Hello, has kind of chimed in and seems to reveal who he is hearing are the five characters who will be key to this adventure. Now, like we always like to say, this is an anonymous Scooper, and none of this is coming from Marvel Studios. So we want to take it with a grain of salt, and honestly, this list to me feels a bit incomplete. Now, the five names that have been given are the Sam Wilson version of Captain America, which we've known for a while, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, which was also one that was confirmed, Mark Ruffalo's Hulk, Tatiana Maslany's She-Hulk, and most interestingly, Moon Knight, who I generally don't see as a team player. Now, there's absolutely no context to what's being reported here, and although we've heard some of these names before, this is, well, a rather odd Avengers lineup. It's pretty clear the MCU's Captain America, currently Sam Wilson, should be front and center. And I will be happy to finally catch up with Moon Knight after that cliffhanger, but I'm really unsure where he fits into the equation. Now, having the Hulk and She-Hulk on the team does give the team a certain amount of powerhouse characters, which could be pretty crucial in the multiverse war, and obviously having Tom Holland's Spider-Man as part of the team will drive people to the box office. But there are a lot of names missing here, and I think there's several reasons for it. Quite a few of the new characters Marvel has introduced in recent phases are currently being tied up in, in projects like the Thunderbolts or even future projects like Young Avengers. Characters like Yelena Belova and Red Guardian are leading up that Thunderbolts project and many other new characters like Kamala Khan or Kate Bishop are absolutely being set up to be part of the Young Avengers. I think the character I have the biggest question about that's not on the team is Shang-Chi. He is another character from Phase 4 that had a great movie, but we really haven't heard anything about. And quite honestly, when I found out Destin Daniel Creighton was originally set to direct a film, well, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that Shang would be part of the movie. Now, one character that's completely left off this Avengers list that I think will be part of the movie is Thor. Chris Hemsworth has been very open to returning as the character, and he has been an integral part of many Avengers teams, and I think it will be super important for these new Avengers to have multiple ties, not just the Hulk, going back into the past and previous iterations of the group. Now, obviously, in the comics, Marvel has had multiple lineups, with various characters taking up the mantle of the Avengers. And I think although these five may very well be in the film, we probably should look to some other supporting characters that could also appear. There's definitely some big voids here. There's no Iron Man type character, and Iron Heart will not likely be out before this film is in production, and as well as some distinctive low power characters missing that was typically filled by the Black Widow and Hawkeye. Five members of the team is definitely not a complete team. But I think it's a good start, and the fact that at least Moon Knight might be returning, however weird that might be, seems to be good news to me.